Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Libra. How are you guys? Thanks for dropping in. If you're single and looking for a single specific love reading, check out my playlist. I do that every Monday. This is a general read. Any aspect of your life, take it how it best resonates for you. What does Libra need to know? The energies surrounding Libra. And this one. Ooh, clear out the clutter. Oh, someone else just got this. Yeah, singing your own song. <laughs> it's about clearing things up, clearing things out. could also be just you know, taking a break and clearing your head here. Now, singing your song can mean a lot of things, but it's about singing your own tune. <laughs> you know, it's like marching to the beat of your own drum. Okay, yeah, nothing wasted. Vulture spirit, yeah, it's about not wasting time, not wasting things, clearing things up. Yeah, somebody here could be doing that. I've actually seen another reading very similar. So we'll see if if this is a cross-watcher energy. I kind of feel like it may be because Gemini got this in the same spot. Now, the vulture spirit is, you know, we know vultures. They clean everything up. They don't waste anything. So I feel there's that energy. But it's also an energy of not wasting your time, Okay. Uh, the energy vampire kind of thing. <laughs> Clearing your head. All right. Don't let anyone take all your beautiful energy. Libra. What does Libra need to know? Yeah. So I do see an opportunity. A fresh new start. Fresh coat of paint. Things like that for some of you. It's often very simple. But yeah. I feel you have an opportunity for a fresh start here. Very nice, yeah. Cycle ending, new cycle beginning. Things are going in your favor here. I do feel it has to do with the timing is now. Beautiful energy. Yeah, someone here making a plan. Ooh, now this could be yourself, could be another person, but it's just an energy of someone who's someone who has a plan. See, someone has a plan. They're very determined. Okay, very, very determined here to succeed. This is someone who doesn't give up. This could be it. You know, anything. Um, I do see also an energy. Somebody here is very creative. It's a very creative person, very theatrical. It could be somebody here clearing their head, uh, not wasting their time and getting down to business. If you are a songwriter or something, I feel that could be a message for you. It could go in your favor, a windfall of abundance. Looks like an opportunity. Yeah, something's about to go in your favor here. Yeah, definitely see some pride. This is someone planning for success. I see a little sad energy, but it's also an energy of somebody here who's, you know, planning, planning to be successful. Um, but it's also an energy where a situation wasn't successful before, but I do see a possible victory. See, it's like, this is why there's some sort of shift here, a shift in the energy. What wasn't successful could be now. Yeah, look at that. Someone's in their feelings. Yeah, someone's pride, though. <laughs> it's also an energy of someone who takes pride in their house, their home, um, their success. Okay, definitely. If it is just a matter of clearing things out, I feel someone here has a plan and they're determined to succeed. This is somehow going to work in your favor. So it looks like an opportunity. Yeah, we'll see what this is about the King of Cups. Get a couple cards. Yeah, see, this is someone else got this. Someone who feels like there's no hope. Yeah, it's just that they won't be successful. They won't be victorious. Very similar to the Gemini read, I got to tell you. <laughs> well, you know, this is a person who's very charming. Like I say, very creative, theatrical, and very proud. Someone who takes pride. So like I say, this is somehow going to work out in your favor. Yeah. A little Cancer Pisces Scorpio could be a Scorpio energy. So someone who kind of feels there's no hope, though, or like I say, they're kind of focused on the cup half empty, like they're not going to have success, you see? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, we have a single person here, someone enjoying the fruits of their labor, someone who sings to the, you know, sings their own song, marches to the beat of their own dr drum. But I do feel it's an energy of someone here, like I say, not wasting anything. Okay, not wasting time, wasting energy. Someone may have. So now this, I feel like we got someone who's going to be in a bit of a hurry here. I just get the vibe. Yeah, we got someone enjoying the fruits of their labor. So it has to do with financial success 
Someone grounded, practical, very sensible. It's a person who looks out for themselves. They take pride in their appearance and their home. Lovely energy. And it's right in the heart of the reading. So this is someone here definitely in their feelings. <laughs> but they kind of feel there's not a lot of hope. And it could be yourself feeling that way. But I actually feel this is something that could be. Okay? Looking pretty good. Definitely an energy of independence. But I feel this is someone who definitely has worked hard to get where they're at. Yeah, I do see this person could be in your social circle. See, nothing wasted, not wasting time. Someone here has been wasting some time. I get this, just this vibe that they're, this is someone who could be in a bit of a hurry here. So let's have a look at this. Uh, let's look at the King of, of Wands energy. See, this is someone fantasizing. They're looking at all the possibilities. I feel it's just the same person. Uh, someone's just mastering the elements of the kings, the energies. But I feel this is someone who definitely, see, they're fantasizing. They're looking at all the possibilities. This is someone who's been procrastinating, clearing things up, clearing things out. Because I do feel they feel like there's no hope it won't be successful. And it could be anything, okay? Could be absolutely anything. It definitely looks like something to do with feelings, emotions, and love. So let's look at the King of Cups now. Why is the King of Cups here? Yeah, this is someone who has some kind of regrets. Yeah, a little stress, anxiety too. Someone who's a little drained, maybe just exhausted. Yeah, this is often a person who works a lot. But I feel this is someone who's got, you know, it could be just unfounded fear, too, that it won't be. So we'll see. I'm just going to reserve that because I'll see what comes up next. Let's have a look at the Five of Cups. Yeah, see, this is someone who's doing some thinking. They keep doing the same thing over and over again. They feel like there's no hope. Yeah, and it could be, like I say, it's just a person. I don't know if there's some kind of guilt or something here you know maybe some kind of regret but it's somebody who's definitely been procrastinating and they i feel like they feel like there's no hope you see unfounded fear they keep thinking the same thing sometimes too with the song maybe there's a song in someone's head playing over and over again side message <laughs> let's have a look at the eight of swords yeah someone's in their head pinned down by their thoughts we have someone who needs to get out of their head yeah Someone needs to get out of their head here. It's a self-imposed trap, see? It's an energy of unfounded fear. Yeah, it has to do with confidence. And this is someone here who wasn't very confident. See, it's a lack of confidence that it'll be successful. Their pride's getting in the way because they've now procrastinated. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Why is this here for Libra? Yeah, see? So someone who's failed to recognize an opportunity or they're a little worried about rejection. Yeah, this is someone pinned down by their thoughts, absolutely. They are someone who kind of looks out for themselves, definitely an independent person. Yeah, but, you know, this Three of Cups is telling me, is someone in your social circle, maybe your family? Um, but I do feel there's some kind of good news coming in. So we'll have a look here, because it is an opportunity. This is where there's a shift that has to do with the timing. See, the timing is right now. So that's why I feel there's a sense of, you know, this shift in energy, someone who's... It could be a renewed sense of uh, determination. Let's have a look at that Wheel of Fortune. There we go. Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands. King and Queen of Wands, yes. Two people are very creative. Okay, two people who have a lot of creative energy. Someone here is looking at the possibility of this. Now, I don't know who you are in this energy. You could be the, the feminine or masculine energy. Flip it as you wish. But these are energies. Whether you have Aries, Leo, or Sag, or Scorpio in your chart. But, you know, the Queen of Wands is someone who's also very determined. Okay? Very, very determined here. Now, it could be options. You know, someone has, you know, a little bit of fear. You may have other options and vice versa. So, <laughs> but it's an energy of fantasizing, looking at the possibility. It has to do with opportunity. See, somebody here feels they've missed an opportunity. I feel that someone has wasted some time here. Wasted too much time. Yeah, now we have the Queen. See, the Queen of Cups. So this is definitely someone who's, you know, we, you know, we got the King and Queen of Cups here. You know, I feel like the, the Queen of Cups is often someone who waits for a person to reciprocate. See, but waiting for someone to make an offer. So like I say, some of you may be keeping your options open while you're waiting. And I do feel this is someone who feels, you know, they've missed an opportunity. Yeah, maybe both of you, but, you know, it's an energy where if something wasn't and that could be, 
Because uh, someone's pride got in the way. It could be both people too. See, pride getting in the way. Yeah, something like, this is an energy of woulda, coulda, shoulda, I feel. Someone here uh, let their pride get in the way. They've taken too long. They procrastinated. Let's have a look at the Four of Cups. Why is this here? Yeah, see, it's an energy of cooperation, compromise, going down this path, teaming up. See, someone missed an opportunity to collaborate, to team up on something creative. Now, it doesn't have to be, and it could be a work situation, but I'm seeing uh, the King and Queen of Cups, which tells me there's a couple here. Uh, someone's missed an opportunity to couple up, to partner up with someone. Why? Because they didn't, they regret not acknowledging someone's skills, what they brought to the table. They weren't looking at it or they're regretting it. You see? Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. Why is this here? This could be an energy too where someone is just, like I say, they can't stop thinking. Um, it's a self-imposed trap. Someone pinned down by their thoughts. A self, you know, they, they keep doing the same thing. They're procrastinating. They need to, you know, break free. It's an energy of breaking free, and that's what it is. Someone needs to break free from a self-imposed trap, you see, so they can have success. See, it's just a message for someone here to use the skills. See, two people using the skills, teaming up, collaborating. But it's an energy of acknowledging, possibly, too, the things you have in common. There it is. See, it's an energy of timing and patience. It has to do with investing, Okay, someone regrets not investing in this. But I feel a lot of it, like I say, it's someone who gets in their head and it's it's just unfounded fear. Okay, so I feel it has to do with the timing, investing, waiting patiently, hoping this will pay off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, there's the tower. This is someone having a, a tower moment here, the, the massive epiphany, the realization. You see, little Aries energy, Scorpio. Oh my goodness. See, this is someone who's, you know, I feel it's a fear of being rejected. Or it already has been. Someone may be regretting, rejecting someone here uh, too. Yeah, it could be a couple ways. Let's have a look at the frog spirit. This is what the energy is. Yeah, see, it's how someone conducts themselves. Uh, their tradition, their habits, it has to do with having faith. See, someone here doesn't have a lot of faith in themselves uh, to make some kind of decision, but they're planning. I mean, this is a person who's often determined. They're fantasizing. They see opportunity. See, they had an opportunity, and they didn't take it, or they weren't looking at it, or they just failed to recognize the opportunity. And, and it has to do with two people being on the same page. Now, this could be a negotiation or a contract. Okay, it could have to do with commitment. But I also see the way someone conducts themselves. You see, I can. This is someone who failed to see this. How someone behaves. Some Taurus energy here. Yeah, someone's definitely looking at that. Tell me more about the Hierophant. Someone who has a habit of procrastinating too. Like I feel, it's a habit, and they get into their head. Where they start to look, you know, they don't see that something could be successful. It's like they look at the cup half empty energy, you see. And that's why someone's missed this opportunity. See, we have someone waiting. Either waiting for commitment, negotiation, contract, some kind of news. It's the seeds planted in the past. We have, we have the Queen of Cups waiting for this. Well, this person's you know, planning something, but they procrastinate. Now they feel like it's too late. So... Yeah, there we have, see, something new. Some of you got someone new coming in. But it's just, a, I feel it's just an energy of someone doing some thinking. Now you can see there's a lot of happiness and joy. It has to do with confidence. This is someone who needs to break free. They need to be more confident. But there's definitely that lack of it here. Yeah, see, lack of confidence in themselves. Tell me more about the Three of Wands. Yeah, see, this is someone being careful. See, we have someone who was waiting. See, waiting for someone to offer you a cup, an offer, an invitation. Could be a job, contract, negotiation, or an agreement, you see. And I feel someone didn't get what they wanted. See, someone didn't get their cup filled. That's the, the cup here, and there it is, one missing cup. Someone was waiting. See, you didn't get what you wanted. Now you're keeping your options open. Now this person's panicking. This person's panicking, like I can see it. 
that fear, like that sudden realization, the regret. Let's have a look at the Nine of Swords. Yeah, see, someone here, see, this is someone who's going within, the mass, massive epiphany. This is like an awakening. I mean, it's just pretty heavy energy, but I feel this is someone going within. They already know the answers they're seeking, you see? And I feel like you know who this is. If you don't know, you might be shocked and surprised because it does look like a person just procrastinated. Now it looks like, you know, someone didn't get what they wanted or it's someone realizing why they didn't get what they wanted. You see? Because maybe they wanted something here. It's like a, a, someone who realizes they've missed an opportunity. And the high priestess is someone going within. Into me, I see. See, gaining some clarity. See, there could be some hap. This is something that could have been successful. Happiness and joy. You know, some of you started something new too. So, like I say, you got. It, there could be several people here. If you've got options around you, you could actually be failing to recognize that you have options. You could be missing opportunities because you're waiting for someone else and wasting time. Okay, so that's another thing. You can definitely flip that energy that way. Um, tell me about the sun. Some very strong Leo. So that has to do with someone with pride, you see? Someone's pride got in the way here. Tell me about the tower. Yeah, see? Someone procrastinated. It's very similar to the Gemini read, but I'm seeing differences. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. You know, some Pisces energy, too. This is someone who may have kept a secret or kept something to themselves. But it's an energy of someone trusting their inner knowing. See, the procrastinating back and forth. One minute this person, you know, feels like it's something that can be successful long term. Okay, that'll bring success if it's just a job situation. Often it's just the King and Queen of Cups is doing something you love. You see, but it also has to do with the things two people have in common, the collaboration common energy creativity the ability to be successful but the see procrastination weighing the pros and the cons of a situation on and off back and forth in their head this is someone who needs to get out of their head tell me about strength yeah see it's out there very similar to the gemini see this is someone looking and i do feel it has to do with someone's opinion no, I feel that it has to do with someone's opinion, but it also has to do with someone who's gone within, seeing the truth. See, they're seeing the light here. <laughs> this could have been a lot of happiness. It could have been successful. I do feel someone kept something to themselves. Mm -hmm. But the hangman is an energy of looking at things from a different perspective, seeing things from a different point of view. Let's have a look at the Nine of Pentacles. Why is this here? It's a single person. Like some of you could be newly single, okay? Or someone finds out suddenly you are, and now they're just in a panic. But like I say, I feel that energy of someone who's a little bit worried they'll be rejected. Or they feel they've already missed an opportunity. To me, it looks, with this coming out now, I actually feel it's someone who's wasted a lot of time, you see? But someone else here, I feel, like I say, you've got something new. Someone here is coming in. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, two of wands taking the situation to next level, which often when I see this, it tells me two single people. But if you are newly single and somebody's finding out about it, they're going to come in. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel there's just happiness and joy. It's, a, it's all how you look at something perspective. See, this is what's happening. Yeah, see, we have the Empress energy, the birth of something new. Oh, opportunities, options. See, some of you got something new. We know the Empress is always open uh, to new opportunities. Uh, the Empress is always open to new ideas. So, yeah, very high vibrational energy too. See, we got someone here who's kind of a little bit low vibrational because I do feel they have this, you know, they get pinned down by their thoughts. I do feel they have a bad habit, uh, some kind of pattern, something that they do. And it's jet, de definitely an energy of someone who overthinks. So it's an energy of someone taking a pause. You see? Clearing things up, clearing things out here. Seeing things from a different perspective. Looking at the positive. See, we got a person who has that negative. Oh, it's not going to be successful. It's, you know, it's that cup half empty. 
It could be an energy, too, of someone who's never really happy, uh, hard to please, too. So, But we'll see with the Empress. The Empress is the birth of something new. It looks like some of you, Libra, have someone new. You're taking it to the next level. Yeah, could be someone around you, checking you out, wanting to approach you, waiting for the right time. This is someone who's been procrastinating. They're seeing an Empress energy, definitely. Yeah, this is someone who's been moving kind of slow. Now, one thing I'll tell you about this person, uh, Libra, they are focused a lot on their money. This is someone who wants to be successful. You see, they want to be able to be a good provider. This is often the person who likes to provide. And when they feel they can't provide or make someone happy, like I say, they just kind of sit there in their head and procrastinate. Should I or shouldn't I? Well, it looks like they're going to. Uh, I definitely feel like they're looking at this. And it does look like a plan. It could be a business plan. It could involve friends and family. But it also has to do with maybe somebody asking someone out too. See, they want it to be successful. Yeah, but they kind of move a little slow. See, this is someone who's wasted some time. Yeah, and it's also an energy where you're not going to sit and waste your time. See the energy vampire. That's the way I always see this vulture energy. It's got that, uh, you know, duplicity to it that I always feel. And I see that in a lot of cards. I, I see the duplicity. It all depends on what's around it. But this is an energy of someone being open. Now, this could be uh, this opportunity that's taking a long time to come. See, patience paying off. Sometimes patience pay off. But I do feel like the Empress is open. I, you know, I feel like you're open to this. We'll see what this is. Three of Cups. Yeah, see, someone's hopes and dreams. This is a person who needs to release. They need to get out of their head. They need to let go of the things that don't serve them. Overthinking. Um, taking too long to make a, a decision here. That's what I feel. Because they're just back and forth in their head. Yeah. But I feel whatever's happening, it's going to go in your favor. Something you didn't get, you're about to get. It's coming to fruition. It's the start of something new. Now, it could be new love where you have someone who's taken too long, dragging their feet. You know your worth and value. You're not wasting your time. But that person's seeing all this energy too. <laughs> there it is. Change. I see some change for the better. Definitely, I feel time. The time is now. It's time for change. I, I feel some of you got someone new. Like I say, you may have already moved on from someone. You've released this person willingly. You know your worth and value. You're not going to waste your time. That's what I feel. It's so interesting. I haven't used these cards for so long. I'm going to start using them again. I have a few others I've kind of put to rest for a while, but I'm really liking the energy they're bringing out. There it is, a house, a home, a family, not wasting time. See, commitment, marriage. You see, it also could have to do with, I see friends and family. See, someone's hopes and dreams. Now, it could be someone who feels like you're out of their league or the situation's out of, the, out of reach. Now, one thing I do see when I say this, when I see these cards like this, holding yourself in high regard, knowing your worth and value is a wonderful thing, right? But sometimes you raise the bar so high that somebody kind of, you know, feels like they're not good enough, uh, where you're out of their reach or out of their league, okay? Well, I do see some beautiful positive change. It could be somebody coming back around, but... Like I say, some of you may have moved on, maybe even relocated too. But I feel like you got someone kind of, you know, looking at things from a different perspective, maybe your point of view. You see, they're kind of looking at things here. You know, they're back and forth in their head. This <laughs> is over and over. Let's have a look at the hanged man. Yeah, I feel like you got a person, see, justice, doing things right. This is someone who already knows you're just right. Marriage material, possibly. Or you're just right for a job, too. It very well could be that. Um, but I do feel there's an energy of something you have in common. I feel creativity, doing something you love. Okay? So that's why I feel. It doesn't have to be a relationship. But I definitely feel things are about to go in your favor. You've got this opportunity. And I feel like you... Like I say, it's someone coming back around, but some of you have changed too. You've gone through some kind of change. You see? Yeah. I feel like you've had something good, windfall of abundance. Some of you may have gotten inheritance or you're waiting for it. Okay. But you're, like I say, playing it safe, being a little cautious here. The Queen of Cups is often a little cautious too. Yeah. 
being careful what you wish for, contract, negotiation, commitment. But I feel like at some point, possibly some of you didn't get what you wanted, but you're going to now because it's a situation coming to fruition. Okay. It's, in other words, there's been, a, there's been a journey that's coming to an end. Now, it doesn't mean it's over between you and this person. Okay. It doesn't necessarily mean that. It's just the situation. Because it has to do with, I don't know whether it's to someone who, maybe you went your separate ways. It's possible we have two people who went their separate ways here. I do feel some of you have moved on. But I also see this person coming back around after a period of time. Definitely more successful, more financially stable. So often, obviously someone had some insecurities. Their pride got in the way. They couldn't be a good provider. It looks like they can now. But I don't think you need that. <laughs> Anyone to provide for you. Yeah. It's a beauty. I mean, it, it's also an energy of what, with the three of pentacles, what two people bring to the table, your skills when you come together to build something. See, this is something I feel someone didn't see. They failed to recognize it. And now they regret it. Libra, see, you're just right. I feel like you take care of yourself. You look good. You take pride in yourself. I do feel this person's that way. You have that in common. You take pride in your work. Okay, and this is such a lovely, lovely reading. I see a reason to celebrate at the end here. Yeah, I actually feel this is someone who's going to reach out. You might go for it. Okay, maybe this is what you've been wanting for this person to come back around. But I do sense some of you possibly, like I say, maybe you've moved or relocated though. Yeah, I see a lot of stability partnering up this is someone sees you as a partner or this is something you've been wanting maybe it's a particular person who you see as a partner and you've been kind of waiting okay now there could be talk or gossip people in your social circle saying that you're moving on you have a have someone else a new house a new home things like that yeah or you know whatever it, it could be anything but yeah i i really feel some of you this is someone going to come back around where they felt there was no hope they weren't good enough or you know i mean it could you can flip this like i say from the masculine to the feminine energy tell me about the see this is often connects with the king of pentacles someone who knows a good thing when they see it they see opportunity See, it's opportunity, but some of you have other opportunities because someone's rejected you or you didn't get what you wanted. It could be anything. Yeah. Yeah, see, temperance, someone tempering their passion, see? Somebody tempering their passion or somebody lost patience. This is an energy where two people, like I say, I don't know, maybe you both, somebody lost their temper. It's possible. But I feel a lot, what I see is two people who are different, but yet very much the same. And that's what creates balance. I also see a head and heart possible decision here. See, it's an energy of someone following their heart. See, this is, I feel there was a person who was on their own path, but I do feel, I don't know if they were building a business or what they're doing, but there's some positive change to do with the business, a partnership. So there's really positive energy and it could be, like I say, somebody now feeling more positive, more happier. Um, let's have a look at that. Yeah, it has to do with work. See, it's an energy of starting something new, maybe a new job, somebody who feels uh, more confident about a situation. But it has to do with taking, it takes two people to build, see? It takes two people to build. Where did it go? See, to have this success. See, someone didn't see this as successful. It's like they came into a situation thinking it wouldn't be long term. It's not going to go anywhere. But it's like I feel inside. This is the energy where you already knew. I think you already knew this person. Maybe his pride got in the way. I feel like you'd be proud to be with this person in a lot of ways. I mean, if it is a situation where it's somebody who... Now, this is another thing I see. Um, somebody who doesn't take pride in their appearance, okay, uh, where you maybe feel like you're not so sure long term, because I feel if you do, the empress is someone who takes pride in themselves, period, in every way, okay, so that's where I feel, if there is someone like that, they could be coming back around different, <laughs> change of appearance, so I see that for some of you, See, because I always see that with the star, someone who takes pride in their appearance. It's also an energy of someone who can be very popular, okay? someone who possibly gets chased. They get a lot of attention. So, yeah, 
But really, like I say, it's loving yourself first, self-respect. This is also things this is someone didn't see. But I feel it's something you're looking for, that you're wanting this. Okay? Yeah. I'm trying to piece the puzzle together here. Uh, let's have a look at the star. Yeah, see, this is someone who's been stuck, stubborn. This is often a person who's stuck and stubborn, um, is not budging or giving in. But it's also an energy of a person who watches from a distance, especially when I see the hanged man, the procrastinating back and forth, and that two, um, two of wands energy is often a person who's holding back from approaching, okay, somebody here. Somebody who keeping themselves stuck and single. But if you have a person who you feel is keeping you, you stuck and single, this is where I feel you're going off on a new path. So some of you definitely are releasing. Uh, you're taking this other opportunity. I see a reason to celebrate. I see this beautiful energy. See? I also feel someone here, they someone who keeps doing the same thing over and over again. They focus on one thing in their life. You see? Someone who's focused on one thing, because this is actually about balance. It's not just stubborn, stuck, selfish, okay? It's often just an energy of someone who focuses on that one panicle when they should be focusing on all the other things about you, things they fail to see. And it's possible you, the feminine energy, may have actually not seen that. So, okay? But I feel like, it, like I say, it has to do with um, having pride, taking pride, uh, being proud to be with someone, okay? So, and it's also an energy of someone who could be set in their ways, very determined to have all these things. But it looks like someone here has failed to recognize, like you both want the same thing. There it is, see? This is someone who's in a hurry. They feel like they've wasted time. I told you, they're now in a hurry, and it has to do with marriage and commitment, but it has to do with building their financial foundation. There's some kind of beautiful outcome to this. Regardless, if it is, like I say, some of you may feel, you know, have that sudden realize someone's just not right for you because they don't take pride in their appearance, their house, their home, their job, whatever it is, okay? Yeah, where you don't see it long term, it very well could be you. But because of the way the cards are, you can flip it. So, yeah, you might decide to just, you know, take this other opportunity with someone new. And I do see new job too. See, someone working really hard, perfecting their craft, their skills. See, you have a lot of skills, what you bring to the table. So like I say, look at what this other person has too. So I actually feel we got two people who are quite similar here, to be honest, for most of you. But do some of you, yeah, I feel like you've got a person who doesn't take pride in things the way you do. So, but it is also an energy of ego both ways. Yeah. But, you know, we all have our thing, right? Set in your ways. You know what you want. <laughs> I feel like you're open. The Empress is always open to something new because you're not going to sit and waste your time. And I do see a reason to celebrate. This could be an invitation, something you've been wanting, you know, to someone's home, maybe out to dinner, a party, a gathering with friends. You see, I do feel there's been talk gossip, maybe some other people involved talking, telling someone something that they were talking maybe to you and the other person's going, oh no, I better hurry up before they take the other opportunity. <laughs> I can see that for someone too, yeah, see? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So the masculine, they could be anyone. It does look like, um, I did say Gemini, but I'm not, do I see Gemini here? They could be another Libra. Um, I'm just seeing strong Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I really feel this is just an energy read, but I just, was there any Gemini in here? Uh, could be. Aquarius, that's what it is. Somebody with Aquarius. That's. I knew there was another air sign energy here. There's definitely a lot of Sag though. <laughs> A lot of water too but yeah the leo is pretty strong as well so it's just going to be a different person for everyone but i feel the outcome is this king of swords someone analyzing strategizing doing a lot of thinking about this about communicating see this is someone talking they're hearing something now they're in a hurry that's why i kind of feel there's a couple of people here so if you have been waiting for someone and you you know you see that you're not going to get what you want from someone and someone new comes in and this person finds out they're going to be in here they're going to be here so fast yeah see marriage material queen of king and queen of pentacles 
So they could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but they have some air in their chart. Like I say, Aquarius. This could be from the masculine point of view as well. Like I say, this the masculine. This could be the masculine energy. But yeah, the Empress is often a very strong Libra energy too. So yeah, very interesting read. But I, you know what I see too here is with the Queen of Pentacles, it's an energy of someone who's very comfortable, someone who wants someone stable, reliable, someone who takes pride in their work, the things they do. Um, but I do feel there's this energy of, you know, kind of, like I say, some of you have changed. You may be set in your ways if it's something that's been a long time coming. I definitely see a lot of independent energy here. Someone who looks out for themselves, stays balanced, keeps their life balanced. See, you got another person. I really feel it's a person coming back around, but this is also yourself moving on to someone else too, some of you. Because there is new here, yeah. See, it's an energy of two people talking, communicating. Now, this could be a friend. Someone you talk to occasionally even too, they want to take it to the next level because they see somebody wanting to start something with you. Whoever they are, they've been pinned down by their thoughts. Okay, now, I do feel this is someone who has some kind of regrets or they have this fear of making the wrong choice or decision. See, there's the truth. <laughs> They're having that seeing the truth. See, trying something different. Some of you too, you may be trying somebody different. Someone who takes pride in their house, their home. They take care of themselves. See, they see it. They see the skills. They see the importance of these skills too. So I really like this. This is very similar to the Gemini read. Now, this could come in the way of anything, okay? But I do feel like someone here has, you know, this is someone's intentions. It has to do with, you know, not wasting any more time. A reason to celebrate, an invitation. They're doing a lot of thinking about this. Tell me more about the King of Swords. So you got all these kings here now. See, this is someone mastering the elements of the kings. What you have is an emperor. Someone's catching up. They're almost at that emperor status. <laughs> you see? There's two people coming together. Possibly your path's crossing. But I, some of you definitely, I can see the choice. Yeah. Okay, king. Of, yeah, there you, there you go. What'd I say? Emperor. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty obvious it was going to come out. I figured it was going to come out. I, I actually wasn't sure here because I was really asking their intentions. They know what they want. They're very logical, very disciplined. A lot of self-respect, a lot of discipline, see? Uh, possibly educated. So it has to do with... You know, I feel it's an energy of two people talking and being on the same page. If you have someone you feel like you're not, and it could be, like I say, lifestyle habits, your day-to-day -day lives, anything, okay, with the person that you are you know, tired of waiting for, and you may be yourself kind of been procrastinating or you're comparing one person to another. But I really feel for most of you, it's just this person leveling up. It's somebody leveling up, see? They're at your level, you see? The... This is what you want, someone at your level. <laughs> yeah, someone who can have a deep conversation, somebody who likes similar things than, than, as you. So, very nice. Tell me about the Two of Cups. There we go, yeah. See, two people reciprocating, reaching out, reciprocity, sharing of yourselves. Yeah, but I do feel, like I say, this is an energy of something you're waiting for. Some of you, like I say, I do feel like yourself. You've what you're tired of wasting time. Your options are open. You make sure you actually have a few people reaching out. Well, this person's in a panic. I still feel the same. Yeah, they want to talk to you. They're going to reach out. Now, whether, like I say too, they're a little bit stressed, anxiety, a little worried that you won't reciprocate. There's your date, your offer that you wanted. So now this doesn't have to be something that takes you know, a year, 10 years, it could be a week, a month, anything like that. Generally, it comes in tens. Okay, so it's generally a month, you know, two months, uh, it's often just the moon cycles, but it could be a year and could be as long as 10 years. So whoever it is, they're coming towards you, they're at your level, they're going to come and talk to you. Okay, so they're going to take action to reach out, they're hoping you reciprocate, hoping you feel the same. Uh, I'm not so, I got to be honest, some of you I'm not so sure, because <laughs> I do see a little been there, done that, 
It all depends who it is. And it, some of you could have options. You could have a whole bunch of people reaching out. Because I do see friends, family, talk, gossip, people talking. You see? Yeah, you know your worth and your value. So, like I say, some people might feel maybe you have a little bit of an ego too. But, you know, it could be just pride. So, very nice. Okay, you got choices here. I feel like you've got this person. I do feel the emperor. This is someone who's um, very strategic. They're analyzing the situation. See, this is someone who now feels confident about making a decision. They feel more confident. Why? Because they're stable financially. Okay, yeah. So this is lovely. Take care and we'll see you soon.